<laughs> voice is so much deeper now, Evan, and you're I much know. taller. It's been a couple years. <laughs> it's been a year or two. Oh, he's growing up. <laughs> Hi, oh, wait, we're frozen. Hold on, we're oh, frozen. frozen. Hi, Mr. Cartier. Hello. Okay. okay, we are live. We are live. So good evening. Welcome to the King Middle School Go Team meeting, where we will follow the agenda as it has been emailed to you and presented to the public. I am Paul Brown, proud principal of King Middle School, and I will be acting as the interim chair for tonight. I would like to remind everyone that this is a meeting of the Go Team. Only members of this team may participate in the discussion. Any members of the public present are here to quietly observe. For members of the GO team, please identify yourself when you speak. I am pleased to call this meeting of the King Middle School GO team to order. I will act in the capacity of interim GO team chair for this meeting. Our first order of business is to call roll. Ms. Ridley will serve as our interim Secretary for this meeting. All right. When your name is called, please say present or here. Ms. Marilis Jones. She's muted. Ms. Okay. Jones. And she's frozen. Okay, I'll come back to her. Ms. Ellis, Ms. Antoinette Ellis. Mr. Rashawn Mulholland. Present. Ms. Trish Miller. Present. Ms. Marilis Jones. Oh, she's still muted, okay. Mr. Lewis Cartier. Present. Ms. Andrea Carter. Present. Mr. Vince Thomas. Present. Ms. Dion Williams Holland. Present. Okay. And for the sake that I can see Ms. Jones, I'm going to go. Okay, there she is, Ms. Marilis Jones. Here. Thank you. Okay. And there is no Ms. Ellis on here yet. All right. Okay. So this team will only be able to take official action um, if there's a quorum present. Ms. Ridley, is there a quorum present? Yes, we do have a quorum. Okay, thank you. And you are following the script, so please be patient with me. Yeah, excuse me for just one moment. Um, hi, everyone. I'm, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Diane Jacoby. I'm the school governance liaison. I'm part of the team that helps support the GO teams. I just have a, a quick question in looking at what we have for a roster and what you guys do. Um, I don't have Ms. Ridley on the team anymore. Is she just here in a support role today? Ms. Ridley was our acting secretary last year. She's supporting this year. Just okay. to transition into our new members. Okay. And then the other question I have is what about uh, Mr. Jacob Hackett? He's, He's present. One of your, is he? Did I, yes. Did I not okay. say your name? I apologize. Dr. Jacob Hackett. Okay. I present. And, okay. <laughs> and um, until you vote on him, Mr. Thomas right now is not a member of the team. His term expired on 630. So um, he needs to be reappointed to his position. To the community member seat. Yes. Right. He's on our agenda as well. Okay. I, I figured, but I just want to, he can't make motions or vote until he's reapproved. So. Okay. Just going by the book. Yes, ma'am. Thank y'all. So with those adjustments, Ms. Ridley, do we still have a quorum? Yes, Mr. Brown, we still have a quorum with the adjustment of me not calling Dr. Hackett and Mr. Thomas coming off. So we still have a quorum. Okay, thank you. So we'll proceed with the meeting. Um, so today our um, first order of business is actually to move to fill the open community seat. Um, before we begin the process, I'd like to remind you of the GO, te the go team of the following. The principal bring forth the nomination for the vacant open community seat. 
All GO team members have only one vote per seat. Individuals uh, filling a vacant seat will serve until the conclusion of their term. I know this. Upon approval, individuals are immediately full GO team members. So at this time, I would like to recommend uh, for the open communities um, seat, uh, Mr. Minister Vince Thomas. Mr. Thomas uh, is one of our biggest community supporters uh, for our school. He is very involved in our community as well as our school, supporting um, our students as well as our staff um, by making donations, mentoring, speaking to our students. Um, he's an all around community member supporting our school financially and with his physical presence and with the presence of his church members. So go team, I would like for Mr. Thomas, he has served in the community uh, member seat last year. I would like to recommend him for that seat for this year. We will now proceed to the vote. Oh, I'm sorry. Are there, does anyone have any comments or discussion about the nominee? I make a motion no. to approve. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Corti. So at this time, we will proceed to the vote for the nomination of Vince Thomas for the community seat. All in favor, say yes. And raise your hand, please. All opposed? Any abstentions? Um, the secretary will record the vote and give us a All right, all community members were, I'm sorry, all GO team members were in favor of Mr. Thomas becoming the community member. Mr. Thomas um, is now a full member of the GO team. Mr. Thomas, welcome back. <laughs> um, and thank you for supporting our school and our community. Thank you all for uh, letting me come back. <laughs> <laughs> So at this time, we will uh, review the, approve the minutes from our last meeting, which was May. So I'm gonna share my screen and y'all gonna have to bear with me because I'm maneuvering through this. You should have received them through the email, but it was from our minutes from our last May meeting, but I'm gonna also gonna post them um, by sharing my screen. Um, let me find them. So at this time, we'll review the minutes from the May 27th meeting that was held at 4.30. It was a virtual Zoom meeting as well. Um, and the minutes are here. Um, and I'm gonna slowly go down for those who need to see them. Can you all see the minutes? Yes. Okay, and you should have them in your email as well. Um, so, um, take a minute to go through the meeting. Uh, if there are any corrections need to be made, um, please make them known. Ms. Curry, I'm sorry, I'm in go team meeting. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, you all. <laughs> okay. At this time, are there any corrections Brown? Uh, being offered? Yes. Dr. Hackett? No, I was good. Oh, Ms. Corti? That was Lewis. Okay. Mr. I was just going to say, hearing, hearing, hearing no need for corrections, I was going to make a motion to approve as is. 
Um, do we have a second? I second it. Okay, uh, minutes are approved. Okay, at this time, uh, we're gonna move to the election of the GO Team officers. Before we move to the nomination process, I would like to remind the GO Team, I'm gonna stop sharing here. I would like to remind the GO Team members of the following. Nominations do not have to be second. A member may nominate themselves. A member may nominate more than one person for any position. A member may decline a nomination during the nomination process. Members may not serve more than two consecutive terms, two years in the same officer position at the same school. Nominees do not have to leave the room during the nomination period or when the vote is taken. If there is more than one nominee per elected officer, each nominee will be offered an opportunity to share why they would be elected to that seat. The newly elected officers will assume their positions starting at the conclusion of this meeting and serve for one year until a new officer is elected. All voting members have one vote per seat. First, I would like to elect the GO Team Chair. As a reminder, the responsibilities of the GO Team Chair include, but are not limited to, leading GO Team meetings, working with the principal and the GO Team to develop meeting agendas, ensuring every GO Team member has an opportunity to be heard. I will now open the floor for chair nominations. Does uh, Mr. Carty want to? Uh... I would like to make a nomination. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead, Mr. Carty. I was going to make a nomination if she's willing and has the time. I was going to make a nomination for Trish Miller as chair. Okay, Mr. T Mr. Thomas. I, I was I was wondering if Mr. Carty had any more eligibility left. I do not. I do, he did not. He does not. <laughs> I served my two terms. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to go and uh, I like his uh, recommendation. Okay. Any other nominations for chair? Um, okay. No more nominations. So we could, let me go to this. For the nomination of chair, we have Ms. Trish Miller. All in favor, please say yes. 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 Aww. All opposed, nay. <laughs> Any abstentions? Congratulations to Ms. Trish Miller. I know she's going to do an outstanding job as the co-chair and representing our community. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Carty, uh, we have a lot of uh, <laughs> turnover to do because I... You are a great chair, so I have some really, really big shoes to fill. So, <laughs> I was afraid. Of, I was afraid of what she was about to say. No. <laughs> Mr. Cartoon. I was. Yeah, I was thinking that I forgot to ask her. Is she not going to accept it or not? So, thank you, Miss Miller. <laughs> well, it's an honor. I'm, I'm happy to serve. This, that's an okay. Honor. Thank you guys for for that. And I know Mr. Carty to help you in any way. So now we will elect the Go Team Vice Chair. As a reminder, the responsibility of the vice chair include, but are not limited to, ensuring the GO team follows uh, parliamentary procedures, working with the principal and the GO team to develop the meeting agenda, acting as the chair if the chair is not present. I will now open the floor to receive vice chair nominations. Please remember all members of the GO team are eligible for this nomination. I'd nominate myself as vice chair. Any other nominations for vice chair? So at this time we have one nomination for vice chair and that is Mr. Lewis Carty. At this time, we would like to take a vote on the vice chair position. 
Um, all in favor of Mr. Carty as being the vice chair, please say yes and raise your hand. <laughs> yes. 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 Um, Miss Ridley, I think that was everybody. So I don't want to say nay if that was everybody. Yes, Miss Ridley. <laughs> so unanimous vote, Mr. Carty, congratulations. Um, as the vice chair, I know that you have served our community well over the last couple of years and you will continue to do so. So thank you, sir, for taking all that position. Okay. Now we will elect the GO Team Secretary. As a reminder, the responsibility of the secretary include, but are not limited to, posting GO Team documents, that's agendas, summaries, and minutes to the website at the school, taking minutes during the GO Team minute, meetings, and ensuring the GO Team is in compliance with Georgia open meeting laws. I will now open the floor to receive secretary nominations. Um, I would like to nominate myself. Oh, great. I second that. I second that. <laughs> yeah. Any other nominations for a secretary? So we have Mr. Mahalan um, as our nominee for secretary. All in favor, say yes. 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 Awesome. Ms. Ridley, based on the visual, I think we have unanimous. Ms. Yeah, Jones, yeah. we didn't hear from you because I can't see you. So you said yeah, yes. She came off of mute. Yes. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> so we got everybody. Okay. Congratulations, Mr. Mahalan, um, for being the secretary. Um, I know that Ms. Ridley is no longer a part of Go Team, but she will definitely help you um, in this transition. So please lean on Ms. Ridley as well. Okay. Thank you. Right, Ms. Riley? Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> um, am I missing? Let's see. Okay. Try to make sure I go in order, you all. Now we will elect the Go Team cluster representative. The cluster representative may also hold another officer position, such as chair, vice chair, or secretary. As a reminder, The responsibility of the cluster chair um, includes, but is not limited to, attending all cluster advisory team meetings, reporting back to the GO team on the cluster advisory team meetings. I will now open the floor to receive the cluster representative nominees. I would like to nominate Dr. Jacob Hackett. Oh, because you can't. Um, Ms. Jacoby, for clarification, the community, the, the cluster meeting can't be someone that served last year. Can it be the same person? As long as they have not served two consecutive terms. Okay. So they can't serve more than two years in a row. Okay. I was just wondering. Okay. Any other nominees for the cluster representative? Hearing none. Um, is, is Dr. Hackett have, available for that? Dr. Hackett, are you available for that? Because I know you're- uh, I had a, a, a clarification on the frequency of those, uh, <laughs> those, those opportunities to represent uh, King in the cluster. So those, I, I do know that the calendar has not been published, but I know it's three meetings. So I know your schedule is mostly like some evening classes too. So- yeah, I would love to be able to represent the team. Um, I, w I slightly worry about some evening uh, conflict. I do teach two nights a week. Um, and, and I don't mind supporting Mr. Hackett. Um, Myself as, either. As well. So he's got a team to support. Because I know you did it last year, uh, Minister Thomas. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm here to serve wherever. So I'm just here to support. 
Yeah. Okay. But my third year, I want a, a parking space. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm happy to be the representative. And then if there's a conflict, right, with um, maybe an individual, um, then I could reach out to Mr. Thomas and Mr. Carty. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so for clarification purposes, the only nominee that we have for the cluster representative is Dr. Hackett, correct? Okay, so at this time, um, we would like to take a vote on Dr. Hackett uh, representing, being the cluster representatives for King Middle School. Um, all in favor of Dr. Hackett being the cluster representative, please raise your hand and say yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> congratulations, Dr. Hackett. And I see you have a, a, a band of people supporting you. Yeah. Um, Appreciate so, that. Thank you. Happy to do it. Happy to do it. Um, okay. I think we're almost done with the. the um, okay. So now we will move on to our next order of business because now we have a. Well, let me say first, I'll say congratulations to all the members of our um, GO team and their position. Now we will move on to the next order of business, which is reviewing and updating and confirming our public comment format. So again, I'm going to share my screen and I will go over our public forum format. Can you all see my screen? I think it should say. Yes. Yes. The Gold yes. Team Principles Report, yes. Let me see how. Um... Okay, give me one second, you all. I'm trying to start. No. I'm trying to make it start, make it for the BFO. Oh. I know what I need to do from the beginning. Okay. So I'm going to go through. I was trying to make it full screen, but I guess I'm not doing it right. Okay. Do y'all see it now? Yes. Okay. You see the agenda? Correct. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So we've gone through the agenda. Um, this is a list of our current members. And we're going to go to our public. Um, for, this is our public policy from last year. Uh, I'm going to read from the script and then I'm going to look at our policy. So I hope you can see it from here. Um, but it says, we will now move to our next item of business and reviewing and updating and confirming our Go Team public comment format. Public comment opportunities are available to Go Team members to hear from interested men members of the committee of the community from Section 3.4 of the Go Team Handbook. Opportunities for public comment shall be provided at least four times in a school year. Go team members will not provide responses or engage in direct conversation during these meetings. Each go team member may determine a consistent method for reviewing, receiving public comment and for parents and other citizens who sign up to address them. At least 20 minutes of time in the public, at least 20 minutes of time to the public to make comments at the meeting. So basically we have to make sure that in our meeting we have 20 minutes of time set aside for public comment. The public receive at least two business days um, to follow the protocol. Here is a copy of our previous public comment. So please look over it. Are there any uh, recommendations to change or update the public comment format? I have a question, Mr. Brown. Yes. So since we're in this virtual environment, um, do we need to make any edits to it? That's one question. And then the other is if we're in a virtual environment, how do they sign up to speak 45 minutes prior to the meeting? 
Those are really great questions. <laughs> so I'm going to get some assistance from, um, <laughs> let's see. So I can tell you how some other teams have decided to tackle it. Great. If you'd like to know. Yes. Um, so some other teams are doing through a Google form for them to sign up. They're going to try to emulate kind of what the school board's been doing. I don't know if you've been watching the school board meetings on Facebook Live, but when they have somebody who would like to give public comment, the board office will send the phone number or link specifically to the people who want to have public comment. Um, because I think it's great that you're streaming to YouTube, but you do have to have that opportunity for people to speak directly to you. Um, some teams have changed that time frame from 45 minutes to up until 45 minutes prior would be like an idea, you know, just to leave that Google form out there and just have only 10 slots. And once they're filled, they're filled. Um, so th those are some of the ways that people are doing it. Um, if, they're, if you're not expecting a lot of people to give public comment, you can always just let people come into your Zoom meeting and raise their hand. Um, but the most common way seems to be people are doing a sign-up form. What a couple of schools are also doing is adding a question on their form of, I would like to give public comment, or I do not wish to give public comment. So basically people are just turning in written comments to the GO team to review. Um, so those are some ideas on how people are handling this. Okay, so we can, what I can do is we can, we, we can make a decision not to move on this until we get more details and like more examples. Um, Cause I could make sure we pull some and, and send them out to you all. Um, so we wanna vote on to, I guess, amend this in our next meeting we can do that as well, because that way I can get some samples. Um, I also want to make sure we are clear that this meeting, which is on YouTube, this will not be our standard um, meeting um, vehicle. So some of them will be Zoom as well. Um, this one was because we knew there was no public comment. And so this is why the first meeting is on the YouTube streaming. But when we have public comment, we will adjust to make sure that public is involved with questioning. I, I like what she said about, I mean, you can leave it in the exact same format we have today, but if you do up to a certain period, like she said, the 45 minutes or an hour, it gives you the opportunity to send them the link for this meeting and you can still leave it on YouTube and just have them invited into this. I, I like that idea. Oh, that's a good idea too. Okay, so say that again, Mr. Corti. You're recommending we adjust that. It was just the idea that Miss. It was just the idea that Diane had, of in, instead of going 45 up to 15, it was giving you 45 before or an hour before. That way, the person that is in control of that link sees it on the Google form and then shoots it to them, so they can then join this meeting to be able to speak, quote unquote, in person. Okay. It was just her idea. I was just reiterating that I like the idea. I'm just trying to make sure we have, like, would there be anything we need to change in that language to what we currently have? I have a question. Um, Ms. Jacobin, you can help us out with this. I hope you're listening. I, I am attentive. I am here Thank to help. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, my, my question is just, is there a reason why there's a time limit on there, or could you just leave it uh, where it's just questions can be submitted on a rolling basis and we just answer the questions each meeting? So first off, the GO team is not supposed to be engaging with the people who are providing comment. Um, again, if you watch what the school board does, people will, people will provide their comments. The comments are meant for the GO team to take under consideration. A lot of times people will bring, um, bring comments or ideas or issues to the GO team, which may not be in the GO team's purview. That may be something that is in Principal Brown's purview for him to handle. If somebody brings a topic to the GO team that the GO team feels is um, valid and they really do need to discuss, you all need to put it on a future agenda item. 
so that you can allot the time to discuss and get the data and the information you need, um, which is how, again, this is how governance works. It's, you, you need time to have the information necessary to have that robust discussion um, with that. And in terms of the two minute time limit, that is a very common time for just about any government meeting like if you ever go and give public comment down at the legislature, if you give um, comment at school board meetings, if you get comment at city council, because you should be able to present your, your argument or your, um, your issue within two minutes. And if it's longer than that, then you really should be providing it in writing to whatever team. Part of it is with the two minutes, we wanna give as many people as possible the time to speak. Um, and you know, just encourage people to get to the meat of the issue. If, if you've ever watched, some people um, can take could take the whole twenty minutes and not provide anybody else any time. Does does that answer your question, Mr. Mahan? Yes, it does. I guess you basically were saying it's not to engage with them in terms of a conversation. No. Um, right. 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 So. Um, so as a team, and I'm, I'm, I just want to hear from your recommendation, um, looking at this, is this something we want to revisit during our next meeting to, because I, I, I heard a couple of suggestions, and do we want to look at some examples before, or do you want to take a vote on this? Are we voting to look at this in our next meeting or what? What would be the recommendation from the team? I think it's fair, uh, Principal Brown, to get some examples just to see what others are doing and then move it to the next meeting, unless there's some urgency that we need to move on it today. Yeah, I'm not um, clear. Maybe you all can clarify how many um, public comment meetings are we to have per year? It's four. 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 At least okay. four. Four. And so this is our first meeting and it's October. so. I don't know if we're gonna, you know, run into having every meeting from here on out having to be public comment. I don't know how many, because typically we meet, I think in August or September in a typical year. Six more meetings, Ms. Ridley? Yes. Okay. So we can, And I guess that's why I'm leaning because I'm trying to stay in my light as the principal for Go Team. Um, is is there a way for us to get the information ahead of time and kind of make it a instead of a time for discussion, uh, more time for voting because we've done a lot of legwork by email, so that way it doesn't take up a large part of the next meeting going through the discussions and the verbiage, et cetera. Not, you're really not supposed to conduct meetings, you know, through email and have a whole lot of discussion. Now, somebody could send a link saying, hey, I saw this link, hey, I saw this link, but you don't want a whole lot of back and forth because you, you guys have to remember that um, GO teams are considered public governing bodies. Right. And as such, you fall under all of Georgia open meeting laws, which means that we want you to govern in the sunshine. We want you to be transparent as much as possible. So as you think about some of this, think about how you would want your city council, your state legislature, your school board to operate. And would you want them to be having that many discussions through email that nobody else can see? Um, so, you know, and here's the other thing is that this can be a more living, um, document, you know, like you could come up with something today and post it between now and your next meeting. And then if you find it doesn't work, it, it can become an agenda item again, open for discussion. Hey, this didn't work for us. This is the part that didn't work. We're going to amend it and we're going to change it. Um, again, it just goes down to that transparency and communication to your community so that it is out there and everybody knows the expectations of how do I do this? When can I do this? And where do I do this? So can I make a suggestion um, to the GO team? And then going back to Mr. Cartiv and what Ms. J Ms. Jacoby said, um, maybe changing our, I'm going to suggest changing um, from 45 to like an hour. That way we could possibly send, if, it, if we continue in a virtual setting, we could 
contact the person and invite them into the meeting and we can do all the things that to get them involved and giving a comment. It's going back to sort of what Mr. Uh, actually what Mr. Carty uh, and Mr. Kobe said, but extending our time and then how we connect with the community member, uh, that's the part we will have to act out and carry out. Yeah, I think that's fair. Um, I think just as long as we edit some of the things in the um, verbiage, so instead of saying must arrive, we can say sign, you know, fill out the form or, or whatever, that kind of thing. Um, I, I think that that's fair. Mm -hmm. Would that suffice? Yeah, you could easily say Kobe? must. Yes, that will be fine. Um, you know, again, it's up to the team. Um, I'm always on the side of tell people how it's going to work, you know, from transparency. So if you, right. do, you know, public must sign up at least one hour prior to the meeting so that those who have signed up can receive the meeting link, you know, just so that they know why okay. there is that time frame in there. Um, okay. So that would be my suggestion. Um, but Ms. you know, it's Ridley, up to you. Are guys. you still there? Or right, Mr. Ridley and Mr. Mahata. So I guess we're going to use you all as the yes. secretary. Thing. So I'm going to, uh, and Ms. Cartier, uh help me out with this one. You said, so we'll say public must arrive to speak. Public must sign up, sign up or arrive, depending sign on up. which signing we are. So public must sign up to speak one hour or 60 minutes prior to the meeting. Period. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because I, I mean, because I think you could, you could continue to use this. I think you could continue to use this format, whether it was virtual or not. I mean, it's an easy way to sign up versus having to do it at school or something like that. Okay. My only question I had for Diane was, if you create a Google form, is that okay to put that Google form link right below this on your website? That is exactly where I'd put it. Mm -hmm. And okay. if we do go back to face-to-face -to -face, and that's how you want people to sign up is through that Google form, you need to make sure that that's articulated really clearly because like what you have right here is that you were going to put up the sign up sheet 45 minutes prior to the meeting and they had to sign up within 15 minutes of the meeting starting. So that was like a physical meeting spot, right? Mm -hmm. um, so if you're gonna change it to where people have to sign up, is it going to only be through the form? And if you're gonna have something physical, then that can be really difficult for some of your um, parents and other community members to be there in person an hour beforehand to just sign up and then leave. So that would be a consideration that I think the team and again, this, this can be a living document. So for the foreseeable future, even if students go back face-to-face, -face, Go Teams are staying virtual for the for foreseeable future. Right. Um, okay. So, okay. Um, you know, if it looks like if, if the virus goes away and we're gonna go back face-to-face, -face, then you might have to revisit it with the form and talk about it. But okay, that's fair, that's fair. And just for clarity, how early will the link go out to this public comment form? Or how, how early will it become active is, is my follow-up question. Are you I talking think the about form the, is always active. Yeah, it's a Google Doc, so it should always be active. Well, right? yeah, so we're saying then within the Google form, based off the timestamp, if it doesn't come in, uh, an hour before the meeting, then it then is moved to the next meeting then, since it's always living? It's up to an hour. So the right. least way, the way we're writing is if they, you know, sign up 59 minutes before or one minute before, um, then they get to speak. They can sign up a minute before the meeting is, is that's, the way that's, it's written. That's not how I was interpreting it no. because I think you have to have a time period before the start of the meeting because the person has to be able to send it out. So, you know, if it was a minute before, whoever's checking that Google form might not have the opportunity to send the link out and the person to get it and be able to get online. 
So yeah. I think you have to have a buffer in front of the meeting. Yeah. Guide. So well, we're saying like sign up before thing there then. Yeah. So public must Access. sign up to speak one hour before the meeting starts. Okay. Prior meaning, to one hour before. Yeah. Yeah. One hour before. Meaning if we start at five, they have to sign have signed up by four. By right. Yep. So it's and, and by do, one hour before the do meeting. Do we need language that says if they you know sign up uh, inside of that hour, then their comment will be rolled over to the following go team no. meeting, or it's just ignored. Oh, it wouldn't be ignored, would it? Members of the community are always welcome to contact the resign um, are always welcome to contact go team members through email. Um, you know, like I said, there is one school where they're where they're offering people the opportunity to offer comment in a written form or to speak to the go team office um whatever you guys are considered publicly elected officials which is why your email addresses are out there um, some teams have a group email address so if somebody wants to um, address the go team in a written form they can send it that way so you know again it's up to the team on how you want to receive this information but um there are a lot of ways in which the community should be able to touch base with you, not just speaking to you. So I think that we're still like, <laughs> I think we need more information. So I, I'm just based on the group. So I'm going to suggest that I know that we have to have six meetings um, in which we are going to be looking at our calendar. And it's OK to have um, community comment at the, all of our meetings. Um, it's not necessarily that we don't have to have them. Um, we, what we could do is come back. And I could maybe reach out to some of the schools and look at and pull some of the different public comment um, requirements and bring it back to the team. We vote on it and then we move forward as a team. And then we, so we can make sure we get the language correct. That's fair. Does that make, is that, if that's something to go to, I'm, I have to take your lead, so. I think that's good. So do we need to make a motion to table um, the decision? Yes. So I, I like think that was it. it. Uh, I'm <laughs> I second that. And Ms. Jacoby, I may I may give you a call to help with getting some examples to show for the next go team member meeting. Absolutely. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so at this time, um, we are going to stick to our agenda and we need to come up with our calendar for the rest of the year. So we have a total of six meetings um, that we have to have. Um, four of the meetings must be public comment. Um, a minimum of six meetings, but four have to be public. Uh, meetings cannot be held during the instructional school day. Um, and so for middle school, our instructional day is from 9.05 to 4.30. Um, so the time has to be outside of that window. The meeting location, in our case, is Zoom, so <laughs> virtual right now. So that's where we are. May I have suggestions for recommended uh, dates and times for the Go Team meeting? I'm, I'm a fan of consistency. Do we want to continue to? We, we could go through the calendar, or we like this is the third. If I have that right. This is the third Thursday of the month. Do we want to continue to do them on Thursdays? I'm okay with Thursdays. I don't have any conflicts with Thursdays on third Thursdays. Um, we would skip probably what December because that would be like right there close to the Christmas holiday. I think that's Christmas Eve. No, 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 the no, 17th. When, when? When does the school get out? Um, I'm going to pull the calendar and show you. I'll, I'll the, pull ne the, the next week, the 21st. Okay. 
it seems like the 17th should work unless people are traveling or something. We often do skip December for that reason. Oh, okay. Not that we have to. So I'm going to try to pull the calendar, the school calendar, and then I'll share it for you all. I'm really becoming tech savvy. Good job. <laughs> this is real. It's um, like sink or swim with technology now. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to share my screen again. Uh, you should see the calendar. I think I can make it larger. Click on the plus sign. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to make it larger. Thank you. So I'm going to go. Right now, we are, it's October the 15th. So if we continue with uh, the third Thursday, our next meeting would be uh, the Thursday before the 19th which is the Thursday before Thanksgiving break. And I'm just gonna go through based on the Thursdays, okay? Um, we said we would skip December. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go up to January. It will be the 21st. February would be the 18th. March would be the 18th. I'm not really counting how many. So that'll be April, four. That's four. April 22nd. And May 20th. And then I do know that because of budgeting, we may have to call another meeting if we need in June um, because of budgeting. So that would give us one, that would give us six meetings. Mm -hmm. Yes including this meeting, which will be seven, correct? Correct. When, depending on how testing looks this year, when when will that be? Uh, we're not sure yet. <laughs> okay, because that's often also a month because yeah. sometimes it falls right there at testing and we just don't have it that month. We could leave it as like the third Thursday and then if there is an emergency change because of testing, we could, you know, we can like, change that at our next meeting, like recommend a change to the calendar. Okay. So will everybody agree with the third Thursday of the month? Yes. I, I, I have to do a, a vote. Yes. Um, yeah, I go back to April. Yes, sir. Can you, can you scroll down there? Uh -huh. So the third is the 15th. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I had I'd written down the twenty second. I just want to make sure I had the right one. <laughs> okay. Repeat those dates, please. Yes, the dates were November the nineteenth, January the twenty first, February the eighteenth, March the eighteenth, April twenty second. No, a April. And, oh yeah. And May 20th, those were the proposed dates, the proposed dates. But Miss really, I guess, you know, the third week of April, the third Thursday in April is the 15th, actually. Okay, well then yeah. that would be the 15th, not the 22nd. Tax day. Tax day. <laughs> uh, I hate to throw a wrench, uh, especially with calendars, but could I possibly propose the the January and February just be the um, Wednesday of that week. Just those on just those two. I will be doing a Thursday night class, um, but it's just January and February where I'll have a conflict. So the 20th and the 17th? Yeah, the 20th, January 20th and February 17th. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine with my schedule. That's, that's fine with me as well. I would really appreciate it. Just those two. So, Ms. Ridley, could you read the proposed 
dates for the calendar for Go Team before we take a vote? Yes. So once again, the proposed dates would be November the 19th, January the 20th, February the 17th, March the 18th, April the 15th, May 20th. And uh, did we ever, you, did you come up with a proposed time? No. Okay. Um, so from the team, any suggestions? Well, any suggestions with the time? Uh, this time worked for me. Unless people, others have conflicts. Here from. So five. I'm, I'm good for five thirty. Five thirty or five. I'm great with five. Yeah, if we go to Wednesday, five is going to have to be my time on the Wednesday because I have a six o'clock hard stop on Wednesdays. So you, do y'all want to recommend five o'clock? Five o'clock. So, sounds good for me. Okay. Um, let me see. I think we, okay, now we just need to determine, um, and I guess based on our calendar, um, it's already been determined. Our next meeting, we will, I know our next meeting, we propose to finish our public comment, which would devote on that. And so all other meetings after that would be deemed public comment meetings. Am I? Correct, but that. Mm. That, that would, I, I mean, you can. That would give us five. I mean, we, we can yeah. do them. We can do them all. We only need four, but that would. We're king. We don't do average. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. to average. So, is that the suggestion, you all, that we do all five? I know that last meeting is the budget voting meeting. So you want to do all of them except for that last meeting? That's when we finally do the final approval of the budget. I mean, what? It's up to y'all. We can do all five. I mean, I'm. It's up to the team. I'm just here as an advocate for the school. <laughs> I have no voting power, so. <laughs> so go team I, members. I'm fine with all five. <clears throat> I mean, I, I don't see any reason we can't do all five, but. Okay, so all know. members in favor of having public comment for the last five meetings, please signify with a raising of hand and your voice. Yes. 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 Okay. Keep your hands up, please. I still have to see you. Okay. And Ms. Jones? She said yes. Okay, I apologize. All right. Thank you. So we've adopted our calendar as well as, well, I guess we do, all members accept the dates that were proposed for the calendar of meetings, signify with a yes or a no. Yes. 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 And a show of hands too, please. Thank you. Okay. Hold on. Okay, got it. Thank you. Okay, you all. Um, now we will review the Go Team norms, um, and I'm going to present. I'm going to stop sharing, and then I'm going to. Share again, because I tried to be savvy and do a um, little PowerPoint. I don't know if you can. So, <laughs> uh, so let me share again. Two.
So you should be able to see the initial go team norms. Can you see that screen? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So here are the norms that um, I'll just read through them. So now we determine the go team norms. We will begin by reviewing the initial go team uh, meeting norms. Um, if you would take a moment to read over the norms. Does anyone have changes to the norms? May I have a motion to adopt these norms for the GO team? I would like to motion that we adopt the norms to the GO team. A second. All in favor? Aye. Yes, aye. Hands up. Hold on. All right. Thank you. We're, we're almost done, you all. And I'm, I'll be so glad to hand this over to Miss Miller. <laughs> 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 so um, norms have been accepted. Um, at this time, we will go to... Um, the principal report. And for the principal report, I just have some basic announcements. Um, and I'm gonna click down on announcements. So um, here are the following announcements uh, as it relates to King Middle School. Um, we are preparing for a possible intervention day based on the uh, proposed middle school return date by the district. So please remember that the district uh, Propose some days that possibly students will return into the building for face-to-face -face, and parents were given the option to for face-to-face -face, uh, or virtual um, and so based on the based on the dates that's proposed by the district uh, it, we would have an asynchronous day if we move to a face-to-face -face model um, and that would start October the 28th the proposed date for middle school staff returning into the building, all staff members, um, is November the 9th. The proposed date for a face-to-face, -face, along with virtual, will start November the 16th. Parents were given a survey uh, to complete. Um, for our parents, we, we had 50% of our parents at our school participated in the survey result. Survey. Out of the 50, that equal to 435 parents completing survey um, out of the 872 students that we have at our school. For those parents that did not respond to the survey, you automatically remain in the virtual um, status. So from the 435 parents that completed the survey, we, there was 176 student, uh, parents that requested in-person learning for their, ch their children. That's about 50 to 60 students per grade level. Um, and so based on this, we will still have 682 students um, still in the virtual setting. So that, that kind of sums up where we are with virtual, but please remember this is proposed and that things may change based, based on um, the health of our area. Um, the other thing I do want to announce to the GO team is that the APS, all of APS middle schools, we participate in writing a grant to Verizon last year. Um, and the grant was for getting laptops um, with wireless laptops uh, for all students and teachers. Um, all the middle school principals, um, along with the technology department of APS submitted the grant. We made the final round. Um, Today, we just completed our final, um, the final actions we had to submit for our application. If Atlanta Public School uh, gets the grant, that means that, that would mean that next year, 
every student in middle school will get a laptop through Verizon free of charge that has wireless internet already within the, the laptop. Um, and they will have that laptop for four years. Um, that would include also teachers getting the same technology. And so uh, we just finished uh, completing our part for King Middle School. Um, the district will submit the application um, to Verizon by the close of business on tomorrow. And so we did make the final round. Um, it was, we were competing with um, quite a few school districts across the country. And so Atlanta was in the top uh, for the final round of applications. And we just completed that process. Um, that process included um, submitting copies of lessons, um, interviews, some interview questions, um, as well as interviewing our students as well. And then finally, um, the final announcement, we are actually coming to our the close of the first nine weeks of school. So we will be mailing report cards home. Um, although parents do have access to them, uh, we've made a point of trying to make sure that we mail uh, report cards, progress reports home to parents. And so we will be mailing report cards for the first nine weeks home on October the 28th. So those are all of my announcements. Um, do we have any announcements from the GO team members? Hearing none, uh, we have reached the end of our agenda. Um, is there any additional business? I have a question from Ms. Jacoby before she goes, if she's still on, I can't see if she's still on. I'm gonna stop sharing. Okay, cool. Um, you you raised a good question um, that I hadn't thought about with the open records um, part of the emails. Um, so I know I'm not sure what our practice has been. I think I, I know that my personal email is listed um, to get in touch with me. Um, is that I, and so I would imagine that that would if someone were to ask, they would have access to all of my personal email or. So would, in the past, we've been able to assign um, APS email addresses, but the process for that is a um, level two security check, and then you have to get the email because of the way APS policy is. Um, and for a while, safety and security wasn't having people come in to do the background check. So we're gonna have to check to see how that is. Um, in the interim, if that's something that concerns you um, greatly, then until we can get that fleshed out between safety and security and policy, I would recommend um, creating a um, an email account that is solely for GoTeam, that you okay. don't use it for anything else. Um, so. Okay. No, that just seems, to, yeah, that seems like a <laughs> best practice. I can't say that I have anything concerning, but it is a personal email yeah. account that You'll see all of my shopping from Amazon on there if you were there. <laughs> Prime Day. Prime Day was fun, huh? <laughs> um, no, we it, in the past we have gotten um, non-staff members an email, APS that, email yeah. account, but you do have because APS changed the policy, you do have to have that level two background check. And according to safety and security, you have to come in. And right now safety and security isn't having people come in. And so it's just I understand. Uh, it's COVID. So. And so what I'll do, Ms. Miller, I'll definitely make sure I reach out and see what some other ways we can do that as well. Okay. Because um, I know like some of our staff members created like the Google number for parents to call. So they won't have their personal phone number. Oh, that's smart. Okay. Yeah, I think the bigger issue was the renewal each time for the APS, which would be even harder now because you have to go in a building to do it. That obviously would be even harder now. Yeah. So, that was what was tough for non-staff related GO team members. But I'll find out because we actually had to do something similar. We had to do a background check for uh, student teachers. And so I'll, I'll check into that and see how, because um, they were approved by the district and I don't know if they had, to, they made an appointment or something, but I'll, I'll find out as well. Okay. Thank you. So our next go team member, Ms. Uh, go team meeting date, Ms. Ridley, can you state that date for me to make sure? You're on mute, Ms. Ridley. You're excited, but you're on mute. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 
The next go team meeting day is November the 19th at 5 p.m. And virtually. at that time, Miss Miller will handle the rain. Um, and I, congratulations, Ms. Miller. Uh, Mr. Mahalan will be our acting secretary. Uh, Mr. Carty will be our vice chair. Dr. Hackett will be our community representative. And, uh, we, and we have the support of all the other members of the GO team. Again, you all, thank you all for tonight. Um, looking forward to our next meeting. Adjournment. Make a motion to adjourn. Oh, and I second it. <laughs> <laughs> meeting adjourned. Thank you, everyone. Have a great one. Bye. Bye.